All right, so um, what are some reading materials for the AFK? Um, basically, we're going to provide books if you, when you take the course, Scholar's Dental Materials, okay? Uh, we have four, uh, basically four books that are uh, that compile everything. Um, now, some reading things are Dental Dex Part 1, Part 2, MOSB, uh, First Aid Part 1 and 2. Now, my personal recommendation, that's just me. If you're not taking a course, is Dental Dex Part 2 uh, and release questions. That's, this is my, just if you're not taking a course. I'm not, taking a course is better. If you take our course, you're going to get better. You're going to get everything you need. But if you're not taking a course, um, I would recommend these two things. You're just going to put a lot, a lot of time into it. Okay. Um, and the, the thing about Dental Dex Part 2 is that there's a lot of info but it's somewhat random. So you need to read it at least four to five times, okay? To get that info retained. So for example, in, uh, and now if you take the Scholar's Dental course, you do not need to read anything else. There, okay? We have all the summaries from Mosby, Dental Dex, release questions, and even, and even textbooks, whatever it is, we, we found what we need to, to get you to the level you need to be, okay? So what's an example from the Dental Dex Part 2? Um, Dental Dex Part 1, by the way, is focused on um, basic sciences. So there's a lot of chemistry, general anatomy. I really don't recommend it um, unless you're doing the... Uh, well, no, I don't recommend it. The, the Part 2 would be the better one to focus on because if you do both, you're just gonna you're going to waste too much time. So pathology in the dental decks, it needs repetition and organization. But uh, there's a lot of info there. It, it just needs some repetition and organization. Obviously, in our course, we've already done that. It's, everything is organized and, 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 uh, and uh, you know, we're going to help you even do it with the repetition. I have a strategy in pathology that will help you memorize pathology. Perio, for example, in the dental decks, it's, it has good info, but it's so hard to understand it needs explanation. People that read flaps from Perio in the decks are always so thankful when they see um, our videos. When they see our Perio lectures, they're like, oh my God, we actually understand flaps now. So I'm really happy about that. Pharmacology. Um, I would say in the decks, it's not really good for beginners for or first timers. It's good to review from if you're an expert, but honestly, we really change the game in pharma here. When you take our course and schol scholars course for far and you learn pharma, you'll find that the decks all of a sudden become just, they make sense. They become easy. But when you start with the decks, it's difficult. Dental materials in, in the dental decks is actually lost. There's no section for dental materials. It's part of restorative and prosto. Uh, so it's, it's random cards here and there. We have a subject, a whole weekend dedicated for dental materials. And it's one of the best things like we made dental materials something that could be understood. Okay, as dry as it is as a subject, it's it's pretty um, pretty proud of it. So so we have this is how the decks look like. We're telling you um, that there are some sections of the decks that are good, some that are not too great. Okay. 